one of Queensland's most notorious and feared bikies has been arrested in Darwin. On Monday night, detectives arrested the national president of Mongols Nick the Knife Forbes, at the airport after he landed in Darwin. Forbes had been wanted in the Northern Territory over a string of incidents including the alleged assault of a rival bikie at a Darwin night spot eight years ago and failing to appear in court. Forbes flew into Darwin accompanied by his lawyer Michael Gattenby. Gattenby said he had been arranging with police for Forbes to surrender but police opted to take him into custody at the airport. Forbes was taken to the Palmerston Watch House and is expected to appear in Darwin Magistrates Court this week. Forbes was in news recently when he won a claim for the right to information against Queensland Police in the Supreme Court of Queensland. Nick the Knife Forbes, who recently returned to power as National President of the Mongols, was successful in his Supreme Court challenge against Detective Senior Constable Peter Wilmot, who slapped him with the notice banning him from associating with 68 men in February 2022. The warning notice contained official mugshots of a group that included accused killers, dreaded enforcers, serious criminals and bikies. And on the top in capital letters it read, you are officially warned that the stated person is a recognized offender, and consorting with the stated person on a further occasion may lead to the commission of the offense of habitually consorting. The list of 68 included some well-known names like ex-Mongols Toby Mitchell, David Mitwai, Nelson Andre Patea, Tama Lewis, Tyrone Pohl, Brendan Burikin, Chris Spitziri, and Mark Balsillie. The warning notices are issued to inform an alleged bikey, gang member or associate that if they continue to contact or meet with the listed recognized offenders they may be committing a crime by habitually consorting. Forbes lawyer Michael Gattenby of Gattenby Criminal Lawyers, filed a judicial review against this consorting notice and sought a statement of reasons from police for their action. He also asked the court to force the police to reveal when each of the 68 alleged recognized offenders will cease to be a recognized offender. As per the law, to be a convicted criminal a person should be sentenced to a crime punishable by at least five years in prison, or someone convicted of certain crimes such as associating with a terrorist organization, weapons offenses, riot, habitual consorting or kidnapping. Criminals are no longer recognized offenders, five years after they were convicted in the state's magistrate's court, and ten years after their conviction in the Supreme or District Courts. Therefore the notice issued against Forbes was pretty vague and lacked substance. It was reported that Forbes felt very distressed after receiving this notice, especially with the fact that he was unable to have any contact with any of his friends and believed that the police are being bitter against him. He believed that order was unfairly exposing him to the risk of police charging him with consorting. In his statement through his lawyer made to the police, Forbes requested for the reasons for the notice, however a senior legal officer from the police legal unit declined his request and wrote to him that. The issuing of an official warning, is a decision relating to the administration of criminal justice. Accordingly, it is not a decision for which reasons need to be given. Forbes lawyers felt that a review was necessary, as some accountability is required by police, for prohibiting people from having contact with lifelong friends. In his five-page decision, Supreme Court Judge Peter Callahan ruled that the police must give Forbes a statement of reasons for why he was issued a seven-page official warning for consorting with 68 alleged recognized offenders on February 17, 2022, under Police Powers and Responsibilities Act 2000. No costs were awarded. Grid Sparta has obtained a copy of the five-page order which is attached in the description below. It is expected that Forbes will use the police statement of reasons to launch a further challenge to overturn the consorting notice. Forbes rose to popularity as part of the Fink's terror team before he patched over to the Mongols. Forbes who has the words terror team tattooed on his neck was at the center of the wild ballroom blitz brawl between the Finks and the Hells Angels during a kickboxing tournament at the Royal Pines Resort in March 2006. The fight broke out when Forbes threw a punch at Christopher Hudson. Shots were fired and a number of people were stabbed. 
It's believed the fight broke out because Hudson defected from the Finks to the Hells Angels. Forbes spent 27 months behind bars for this violent incident. In January 2008, he was arrested again for his part in a violent rampage through Broad Beach Mall, randomly attacking up to six innocent young men, one punch so hard he fractured his eye socket. Forbes was sentenced to three and a half years in prison over these attacks. In 2010, Forbes was charged as a part of the $20 million boiler room scam involving former Gold Coast detective Mick Featherstone, and former Married at First Sight star Daniel Webb. He is on bail awaiting trial in the district court for two counts of money laundering, fraud, disobedience of a lawful order and failing to appear. Are you going to be defending these charges? Laundering. I'm too, too lazy to do my own laundry. I wouldn't do anyone else's. What are your plans for your freedom? Party. 